It's home to... Tinseltown and the Lakers, Los Angeles, California, as we bring you an interconference rivalry here at the Staples Center. He with a pretty good road record, Clark, last year, 23 wins away from Miami. You know, given they only won 24 at home, it didn't seem to matter if they were on the road or not. Basically about the same team at home or on the road. Now here's Kobe. Knocks it down from the elbow. This is what happens when the defense lags. Wrong guy to give an opening to. Backing down is LeBron. Bosch, covered by Artest. Three-pointer, Wade. The rebound by Gasol. Talking about the Heat, how do you find success on the road like they did last year? I think one of the keys, Kevin, is that you have to have a team where the players understand their roles. I mean, they're not trying to do things that they can't do. And then from there, it's just about executing and, and not going through major droughts. And then when in a pinch, give it to Dwayne Wade. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good remedy. <laughs> and for Miami, look at who they've got out there. Wade and LeBron fill out the wings. Then there's Chris Bosh. Then there's Mike Bibby and Anthony. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris. Kevin, I caught up with head coach Phil Jackson. The main issue they have to consider today, he said, is the importance of containing Chris Bosch. As he put it, Bosch is a double-double waiting to happen every time he steps between the lines. He said the only way they can offset that is with extremely aggressive defense and a willingness to crash the boards just as hard as Bosch does. Guys, that'll take some serious effort. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Here is Bibby. About three and a half minutes left in the first. Kobe against Wade. Got a piece of it. Oh, and they're looking a little tense to me to start this game. 0 for 4 from the field so far. Tipped. It's one on one. Here are the Lakers with the ball. Side, Kobe. Now Anthony defending. Kevin, that's the kind of shot you want. You can't ask for better execution on offense, but sometimes they just don't fall. But shot's good from LeBron. He's just so gifted offensively. He's a tough guy to match up with. Here's Fisher following the basket by LeBron James. And Fisher gets to Gasol. Pass to Kobe. Wade picks him up. He dishes it. Jacks up the triple. Fisher can't hit. Hey, he can hit from that range. I think he, he missed that one, but the defense is going to want to tighten up on him out there. For three, Bibby. Shannon Brown. He's checked in for Derek Fisher. Here's LeBron. On the wing, Dwayne Wade, guarded by Kobe. The shot by Wade, no good. Lakers are a good defensive team last year. Clark holding their opponents to just 33% shooting from beyond the arc. And the three-point shot is the great equalizer. Yeah, that kind of three-point defense speaks volumes. It really does, and that led the league in that particular category, Kevin. Teams that rely heavily on the three ball really struggled against the Lakers, and I think part of that was the length. The Lakers able to get out and challenge that three-point line, and um, everybody is conscious of making that a key part of what they do defensively. It's a good call. Bibb gets the reach-in call. That's his first foul. Here's Brown. He's picked up by LeBron. 
Or just the best to Gasol. Pass to Bynum. Here's Brown. It's blocked. Miami trailer. Behind the back. Wade outside. Uncovered. Wade missing again. Nothing's working for him here. He's just really struggling to find the basket. Dwayne Wade has carried the heat on his back now. Hard for what, four years? Well, it seems like since he's been there, I mean, he has a little bit more help and the opportunity perhaps to make some noise in the playoffs. Here's Bibby following the bucket by the Lakers. Bosch goes up, connects from in close. Bosch has got his first two points. Here's Kobe. 46 seconds left in the first quarter. And Clark with Wade in the heat. How do you think this new team will mess? Well, I think one of the keys is going to be now that Wade isn't the only real weapon. How do you integrate the other guys into a more prominent role? Anthony kicks to Bibby. Anthony with the screen. Losing the battle on the boards here early. Not by a bunch, but here and there just not quite in the best position. Stripped away. And here we go with Mike Bibby. Not on the scoreboard yet. Deflects the pass. The break is up. Kobe passes to Brock. Kept alive. Here's our test. No good on that last second attempt there. We're at the end of the first, and it's a close one. The Lakers lead by two. Well, their defense has been superb. contested game here at the start of the second quarter. Here's Wade. Powell and Bynum filling up the middle. Fisher and Kobe man the backcourt. And our test. That's the Laker five. Packed on the way up and he'll get two shots at the line. Look at what Wade has done in his career. The numbers really just jump off the paper. Yeah, in bright lights and flashing colors. I mean, as of last year, his career line was 25 points a game, five rebounds a game, and six and a half assists a game. I mean, that's what he's averaged, Kevin, as a pro. Fisher can't hit. Now, Anthony, the question last year, at least one of the questions was, would the Lakers, Clark, still be as successful with swapping out our test for Trevor Ariza? And that's a legitimate question because you never know how the dynamics of a team change when you change personnel. Right. So clearly it was something that was going to be a work in progress. It remained to be seen, but I think the play of the Lakers in the postseason kind of answered that. Ron brought an element of toughness and physicality. Now, he can be a little wayward <laughs> and a little bit of a... Uh, yeah, he can be a little wayward with some of his decisions, but typically he overcomes that with his effort and his tenacity and his versatility, I think, at the defensive end of the floor. And an older guy for a younger, promising, rising player like uh, Trevor Lewis. Yeah, and in, that, in the context of the makeup of the Lakers team, I felt Phil Jackson and the coaching staff and the organization and his teammates felt that this would be a good added piece. And so far, that proves to be true. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Kevin, LeBron James, a superstar in the NBA. But what makes him so special is that he's still such a great team player. He says, for me, it's just about passing, moving the ball and getting my teammates involved as much as I can. I know what my role is. I know I have to be the leader but it takes all five guys on the floor, all 12 guys on the roster, all the coaches, everyone. Certainly, LeBron has his heart in the right place, guys. He knows it takes a great team to win it all. Thanks, Doris. And thinking of those changes with our test, I suppose you can also say that both our test and Ariza are so talented, it doesn't matter which is in there since they have such vast skill sets. You know what, uh, 
You can go both ways on that one. Uh -huh. Yes and no, because they are different players. It does change the dynamic of the team. I think Ariza was a consistent three-point threat, as well as being an active, energetic defender. Ron has been a little more streaky at the three-point line, but the physicality and the toughness, there's an intimidation factor, I think, oh, yes. that Ron brings to the court that very few other players can bring. Nobody wants to deal with being guarded by our test over the course of a ball game because he's frustrating, he's physical, and he relishes trying to get you off your game. I would agree with that. The Lakers making a switch here. Good execution on the break leads to the nice buck. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Here's Brown. Can't hit. Good D by LeBron. Clark, LeBron has really developed into a phenomenal defender. Which I think he ought to be, Kevin, when you consider his physical gifts, size, speed, quickness, strength, and his IQ for the game. That's a given that he should be good at that end of the floor. Wade is tagged with the reach. That's his first foul. Here's Brown. Outside Bosch. Here's Odom. Kept alive. Here's Gasol. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Mike Bibby. First one drops. We're talking about LeBron all defensive first team selection last season for the second consecutive year. Yeah, very impressive. I mean, he wants to be great. And in order to do that, you have to play both ends of the floor, and he's doing that now. Gasol and Bryant speak to each other in Spanish, so their opponents aren't quite sure of what they're talking about. They do recognize, though, that combination is lethal. Here's Wayne. Puts the hammer down. Here's Brown. 132 left in the second. Covered by LeBron. Takes it up. Brown. Good. Brown's got six. Well, we talked about Gasol and Kobe both speaking Spanish. I sense there's a very vibrant chemistry between the two. Clark. Yeah, and I think you're accurate there, Kevin. I mean, you watch those two guys, how they can make eye contact with one another. They truly have a good relationship between the lines, and it's a lethal one for opponents. I think they push each other. They do. They push each other. They raise the bar on one another and hold each other accountable, too. Here's Anthony, and two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. Tough interior defense means not allowing easy back. Good foul. The first one falls. Andrew Bynum's checked in for the Lakers. Kobe comes in for Derek Fisher. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. When you're trailing and trying to come back, this is a good way of extending the game. When you've got players that have a knack or the ability to draw fouls, when they attack the rim, they typically can get the call and get themselves to the strike. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. And again, it's the Heat missing. One of the ways where they've shown a definite edge, Kevin, has come on the glass today. Timeout called the Lakers. Here's Kobe. He has six. Blocked. 21 seconds left in the half. Bibby kicks to Bosch. Wade. The steal. The closer in you get, the more they'll reach in for the pilfer. You gotta protect the rock. Here's Brown. And no good trying to get that one. 
and the first half is now in the book. Welcome to this edition of HB at the Half, a close game going on out in Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Lakers in front against Miami. They've been airtight with... And as the quarter begins, both teams have been trading blows like prize fighters. A close ball game. Miami trailing. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. LeBron and Bosch are the three and the four. I could be out there with Dwayne Wade and Anthony. So it's the Lakers now. A two-point game. Here's Kobe. It's blocked. Bynum. It's rebounded by Mike Bibby. And trailing by two. Picked up by Kobe. Bibby passes to LeBron. Pass to Wade. Five to shoot. What? Kobe was an all-defense first-team selection last season. Part for the fifth consecutive year. Well, Kevin, when he's locked in, the best defender at shooting guard in the NBA is Kobe Bryant. Size, dexterity, and he's a real student of the game. And uh, let's go to Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have for us? Kevin, when both LeBron James and Chris Bosh decided to leave their teams to join the Heat, many people almost couldn't believe what they were seeing. Udonis Haslam said it just didn't seem real. It seemed like something on a TV show, a video game. That would be a team my son would put together on NBA 2K. Guys, no question, this is unprecedented player-driven shift of power, sending shockwaves throughout the NBA. The story of the offseason, no question. Thank you, Doris. Maybe against Fisher. Let's go with the three. Kept alive. LeBron kicks to Bibby. The three. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Bibby's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And here's Kobe from the arc. The shot misses. And Miami will go the other way with the ball. It's not been a day to remember, but if they get the win, I'm sure being the team player that he is, he'll be fine. When you settle for that kind of shot, that's a wasted possession. That is not a high percentage look. You know, one of the stories last season, Clark, in the playoffs for the Lakers was after that early scare to the thunder of Oklahoma City in the first round, the Lakers really turned it up in the playoffs. In fact, it was that game five. They kind of rebooted. They kind of found themselves. Yeah, they certainly did. Sometimes you have to have your back against the wall. You've got to go through that crucible of almost losing an important game in the playoffs to be able to get your second win and to gain that extra um, wave of confidence. And that's kind of what happened with the Lakers. I mean, anytime you face a team like the Thunder that has the leading score in the league in Kevin Durant, you know it's not going to be easy. And the Lakers saw that to be true, and yet they were able to work through that. Thunder had those young legs. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of confidence yes. and an unbelievable building. They didn't that, blink. They no, did not blink. not at all. They were relishing the opportunity, thrilled to be in the playoffs. But they felt like they could beat, not only play with the Lakers, they felt like they could beat the Lakers, Kevin. A big possession here. And they come back to take the lead. Bibby misses. Great defense there. Challenged the path of the shooter, which caused the miss. Kobe against Anthony. Now Bynum. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Pass to Bryant. With one second left. And it's D. Wade with the rebound. You have to question his shot selection, Kevin. Poor shots equal bricks and misses. And the Lakers have possession. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Outside, Kobe. Wade picks him up. Outside, Kobe. To end the drought. And here's the dunk. That dunk made a statement right there. Now putting on a show, Clark, such an impressive move. It's a close game here in Los Angeles. Anthony kicks to Bibby. Outside Bosch. 
just four to shoot. Scooped up. And no good. But close in that one, so he'll shoot two. That one is on our test. It looked like a good call from here where I said definitely some contact on that shot. First free throw is good. Some changes for the Lakers. Lamar Odom, he's checked in for Bynum. And it's Brown in for Derek Fisher. No good on the second free throw. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They lead by one. It's tipped. It's stolen by Wade. This is clearly the time when you want to take the last shot. Anthony up on top. For three, Bibby. And that's the end of the quarter. And a neck and neck game we've watched so far in two three. Take a look at what Kobe's done. He has eight points, and his two blocks have given them a lift. The fourth quarter just moments away now as we welcome you back. Here's Brown. Our task is Saul and Bynum on the front court. There with Brown and on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Baseline jumper. Kobe misses. That's not something you'll see very often. Got the mid range jumper he wanted, but off target. From deep LeBron. No good. And the Lakers go with it the other way. Kobe dishes to our test. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Artest's got his second basket. Kobe against Wade. Guarded by Kobe. Bibby for three. It's hauled in by Bynum. Well, the more shots he misses, the more he hurts their call. He better start looking to pass. Because he's not carrying them with his shoot. Here's Kobe. Over Anthony. It's blocked. LeBron James on the wing. Defended by Gasol. Bosch a screen on Kobe. Here's Wayne. Great D that time from our test. You gotta expect more out of him here. He's had a lot of difficulty this quarter, which in turn is making it difficult for them to cut into this deficit at all. Ryan in the pass to Bryant. Dumps it off. Gasol gets to Kobe. Pass to our test. And stolen by LeBron. Well, they still have the lead, but they really need to collect themselves and start off. Here's LeBron. Back to Bosch. Bibby to tie it up. And the rebound goes to Paul Gasol. Kevin, he's been ice cold here in the second half. If he can't make his shot, he needs to drive or pass off the teammate. Excellent anticipation there, Kev. He placed that pass perfectly. Here's LeBron. Jump shot is good that time. He's been extremely active out there. And he has the stats to prove it. Terrific hustle. Here's Fisher. 2.42 left to the fourth. Timeout called the Lakers. They're up by three. 2.40 left in the game. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Phil Jackson as he addressed his basketball team. He told them, keep pushing hard to the end. Just finish out these last few minutes, and we'll be able to come away with a W. Kevin? He's had an off game thus far, but his team has been able to pick up the slack and find a way to get it done here. Decent look there, but not for him. He's been struggling all game long. Bibby covering. Pass to Bynum. 
tipped over Anthony. Well, I think sort of just playing this one out now as they get the last rebound, they really haven't had much success today controlling the missed shot. Wade outside. Back to Bibby. Tipped. Lakers leading by five. And here's Fisher. Here's Odom. Goes up and laid up and in. Odom's got his second basket of the game. Here comes Mike Bibby. Back to LeBron. Started by Odom. From the wing, LeBron can't get it to go. It's really not the kind of performance that his team needs from him here in this court. He better get going. Maybe against Fisher. Bibby covering. Fisher, the pass to Odin. Just four to shoot. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. They couldn't beat the buzzer. That's a turnover. The Lakers making a switch here. Lions checked in. So it's Miami now. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Miami no good on that time either. He's having a very poor half from long range. He can't find the net from there, and the defense knows it. Bibby covering. Outside, Kobe. Just five on the clock. Block. Here comes Dwayne Wade. On the turnover by Miami. Here's Kobe. Wasn't careful with his position. It's nailed with the backcourt violation. Here is Bibby. Over Fisher. Bibby misses. They need to send out a search party to find his offense, Kev. It's been AWOL this whole quarter. Back to Bynum. Jump off pass, and Fisher kicks it to Odin. Kobe behind the arc, and again, no good by the Lakers. And so the Lakers take the win. It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was, and I think it came down to will more than skill. They went out and got this one. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark and Doris and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan Brand player of the game, Paul Gasol. Grizzly, 24 seconds. Saying all my prayers for my head hit the sack. Oh man, forgot to meet with the bosses for break fast. I'ma keep pouring it on. I'ma keep pouring it on. Yeah, your health is not my concern. I'ma keep pouring it on. Okay, I must say I feel sorry to say this. Been all